Hello everybody, this is Kay Hop. Just wanted to show some of the projects I've been working on in my shop. Uh, I've been making several of these Adirondack chairs. I've got two here ready to go out to a customer later today. And uh, I want to show you, this is how it starts out. I bring quite a few uh, treated lumber pieces, a lot of five quarter board and a couple two by sixes, 12 foot long. This is what I start out with to make four chairs. Um, I lay it here on the drying rack and you can see I've got a fan on the end over there and during the nights when I close up the shop to leave I uh, turn on the dehumidifier to help pull some of the moisture out of the wood. It is really wet. I've made some pieces with it before it's dried out but um, it's easy to work with if you just if you're patient you can get quite a bit of water out of it before and it makes it cut a lot easier. Uh, I have made, now that's a chair I just finished a few minutes ago, that's uh, one I'm going to put in stock and I'm getting ready to put together another and hopefully I can show some pictures and video of assembly of that. These little tables here, they're easy to make, a uh, coffee table and a couple end tables. They, uh, they don't take a whole lot of wood and the design I come up with, I just use the same uh, ends as I do on the top of the chairs uh, to make it feather, you know, look like you know, whatever a feathered edge or whatever. But uh, real basic, just made out of treated lumber, and I um, enjoy making them. They're easy to make, and I've sold some already, and hopefully I can sell a few more. This chair, in fact, like I said, I just made it. Every time I put a chair down on the floor, I have to give it a test set. It's mandatory. Make sure it uh, feels the same as all the rest. Uh, I'm going to show over here some of the material that I've got set up. Uh, of course, it takes an awful lot to get to this point. Uh, cutting all the pieces of wood and tracing on the patterns, cutting out with uh, the band saw, and then sanding quite a few of them just to get them all to fit right. I'll go through some of the components here. These are the bottom rails that are used, the main two to six rails for the bottom of the chair that go from the floor up to the leg. And of course there's a back piece here that is cut at a 30 degree angle uh, in order to accommodate uh, how the back of the seat angles back. And then, then there's the bottom slat and the back piece. Center uh, slat for the back and we're looking at a couple legs. Of course all this doesn't look anything much like what's on the chairs but believe me when you put it all together it turns out pretty nice and then I have to cut several seat slats they're smaller like inch and three quarter and for the seat and, and the arms one of the more important things that I make because uh, you're going to see that and I'm going to touch it when you sit in the chair so I try to use select pieces no knots uh, smoothed out uh, with the sander it uh, really makes a difference. I did want to add that these chairs are actually made or I should say designed by a famous woodworker that's been on New Yankee Workshop or this old house. He went through a lot of studying designs including an old one that his father has made years ago and it's on an old video you can find on YouTube but some of the features that he came up with which is important he doesn't like the chairs to be too close to the ground which makes them difficult to get out of so the height that makes a difference and the arms on it he has made to where they're level you'll see a lot of chairs with an angle to the back but this way you can put a soft drink on there or whatever uh, whatever your choice is for drinks and it, it makes it comfortable to sit in mine of course a few things things that I add to mine it's thicker material. It's called five quarter board. It's about an inch and an eighth thick. Um, I leave all my fasteners open. I don't plug anything. That way it makes it easier to tighten them up later on if necessary. I use uh, weather uh, resistant bolts, uh, lag bolts of course to put the legs on and to uh, put the arms on. Uh, it's all triple coated uh, deck screws to hold everything together. Um, something else too, the original design between the last uh, seat slat down here and the back that used to just be left as a gap and I like to make these little fill-in pieces uh, to make it look more complete. And then again uh, everything's sanded too. I uh, 
give it a real good sanding. Uh, any of the customers I suggest that if they do want to put a finish on it, give it at least a month to dry out some more, which will mean it'll shrink and it may have to be snugged up a little bit. But it gives them the option to just let it go and it'll turn gray in the weather. Or you can stain them or clear coat them, Thompson's water seal, what have you, you know, to make them last longer. But the wood itself, you know, of course, is treated lumber. The bugs shouldn't bother it and it's made to last a little longer. So that's where I'm at. I, uh, going to go ahead and get this uh, next one done here and I have to leave later today uh, meeting a customer from St. Louis and here I'm in central Illinois and they agree to I've had other customers agree to pay me a little bit extra so I can cover my gas but I do enjoy delivering them and and looking at the people's faces when they see they're really getting a bargain for what they're selling for okay well thanks for looking thanks for watching and I'll Probably try to add a few things later.